my God's love for me will liberate me. That's why there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ to Jesus. Too bad if they do not love me. For God's love for me is unshakable. What Jesus Christ did by dying on the cross of Calvary and shedding his blood is to make your body, your being compatible to the life that only God can live. Hear what God is saying. He say, as I pray for you, HIV will be defeated. <laughs> this is a presentation of Hallelujah Ministries International. We want to give you glory. We want to thank you because you are God. And there is no one like you. Lord, we pray that you do it your way today. Have mercy on us. Reach out to your sons and to your daughters. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And together we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today, I pray that the blessings of God may be a reality in our lives. While coming, landed, went home, prayed that night, the Lord vividly spoke to me, and this is what he said. He said, in this season, my people will possess their possessions. I didn't hear that. Your amen sounds like a cold front. Give Jesus Christ a winter, amen. Give him a summer, amen. Lift your hands, say, I will possess my possession. I will possess my possession. Now hear this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Say with me, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now lift your right hand as high as you can get. Say, Lord, Lord I, claim I claim eternal life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I want us to study this in two minutes because I want us to pray. For God, for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. The reason why God gave his son is because he loved the world. Are you hearing me? This verse starts with a justification. Why God did what he did. God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He had one and he gave him away. He had one and he gave him away. He treasured one and he gave him away. He loved one. And he gave him away. It's like a, asking a child to give away his candy. He had one he loved, but he gave him away. Why did he do so? Why did he do what he did? Why is it that God gave so much that he remained with nothing? Because what he gave represented everything he had. Why? The Bible says, because he loved the world. God loved the world. But which type of love did he love that led him to give the way he gave? The Bible says the love was not ordinary. With the ordinary love, you are driven to do ordinary things. The Bible says that love was not ordinary. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved as if they wanted to give an indication of a quantity or a type of love.
For God so loved. The love was in abundance. That he gave his only begotten son. This verse is a well-known verse memorized by even our little children from the Sunday school. But yet, this is a summary of what we call the Bible. If you understand this, you will walk tall. If you understand this, you will laugh at the face of your enemies. If you understand it, when the devil comes to you, you will say, devil, you cannot touch me. Because you'll begin to understand that you are not just loved. You are so loved. God so loved the world. The world represents me, my family, my environment, my world. God so loved me. It doesn't matter how many people hate me. God so loved me. It doesn't matter how many people will write me off. God so loved me. It doesn't matter how many people will go and complot against my downfall. I am loved by God. The love of God is my strength. The love of God will preserve me. His love carries me. Through his love, he forgives me. Through his love, he looks beyond my shortfalls, my mistakes, and my sins. When the world will hold a heart against me, my God's love for me will liberate me. That's why there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I am loved by God. Too bad if they do not love me. For God's love for me is unshakable. No matter what I did yesterday, no matter how bad it was yesterday, God loves me. Look at the statement he made in the day of the baptism of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, heaven opened and the voice has been heard. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Not that this is my son. Not this is my anointed one. You see, I will introduce you to the world as the one I love. This is my beloved son. Somebody say, I am loved by God. Do not kill yourself when people reject you. God loves you. When everybody will point finger at you, do not shake because God loves you. Say, God loves me. Now hear this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son True love is expressed by giving. I say it again. True love is expressed by giving. Love that does not give is love that does not exist. Love that does not give is love that does not exist. They say you can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. Wherever there is love, there will be the manifestation of love. And the manifestation of love is giving. That's why, young girl, open your eyes. If he gives you nothing and he tells you from morning till evening how much he loves you, he's a liar. <laughs> Pack and run. Don't expect that marriage may bring a miracle. Marriage is not a ground of miracles. If he cannot be good now, he will not be good then. If she cannot be good now, she cannot be good then. Learn to read signs. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Why? So that you and I may find a way out. Look at somebody say, God has planned a way out. In the fall of man, in the garden of Eden, Satan in his plan, he thought he was winning. He felt that he couldn't man, he got him where he wanted him to be. He had brought sin and therefore he had brought death in man. But God so loved that he provided a way out. 
Why? Because God in his will and in his love does not want you to perish. I try to you. God in his will and in his love does not want you to perish. Amen. God does not want you to perish. Look at the person next to you and say, God does not want you to perish. If we are in God and we are still perishing as if we are not in God, there is no joy, no glory in the heart of God. The reason why God went all the way giving his only begotten son is so that I may not perish. But what is perishing here? Perishing here means to be defeated. It means to die. It means to go on the other side of God because life is only in God and the separation between man and God is what is called death. Perishing here means to be defeated. Perishing here is to be under the oppression of the enemy. Perishing here is simply to be where God did not want you to be. That is to perish. And the Bible said God did not want you to perish. He sent his begotten son. The gospel, the news we proclaim to the world. From the north to the south. From the east to the west is that uh, there is a way out. There is a way out. You do not need to go to hell. You do not need to be in condemnation and uh, suffer judgment internal. The news is that uh, you do not need to suffer now. There are people who are experiencing hell now before true hell comes. Your life on earth can either be an experience of heaven before heaven or an experience of hell before hell what is your experience God sent Jesus so that you may not perish so that the devil may not win in your life lift your hand and say the devil will not win in my life do not allow him to win because now the ball is on your side he said he sent Jesus Christ that whosoever aligns with him, believe him, should not perish. Meaning that you have something to do. If you do what you have to do, you will not perish. You can't die. Sickness cannot kill you. Jesus Christ died for you. By his traps we are healed. Please understand that when we talk about salvation, Salvation is just a little part in what God fulfilled in Golgotha through Jesus Christ. Salvation is not everything. Salvation is one of the parts of the package called redemption. Redemption brings to you salvation of your soul. It brings to you justification. It brings to you forgiveness of sins. It brings to you healing and deliverance. When I say I am redeemed, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Here is a full package that justifies you, forgives your sins, saves your soul, heals your body, and sets you free. Today may you be free to prosper. I say today may you be free to prosper. Lift your hands and say I will not die. Jesus Christ came so that uh, you may not perish at work when they will lay traps on you, on your path. He came so that you may arise more than a conqueror. Lift your hand and say, I am more than a conqueror. One more time, I am more than a conqueror. This is the reason why Yeshua HaMashiach, the paraclete of God, the Alpha and the Omega, our bright morning star, the one we call the Shiloh, Yeshua HaMashiach. This is the reason why he came, so that you may not perish. 
You will be undefeatable if you align with him. You will be invincible if you align with him. It doesn't matter how many of them will gather against you. They will fall before you. Those who dig a grave for you, they will fall in it himself. Lift your hand and say, I cannot be defeated. Say, I always win. It is not arrogant to say that. When I say I cannot be defeated, I am just aligning with the scriptures that say he died so that whosoever believes in him should not perish. HIV cannot kill you. I say HIV cannot kill you. That's why you see when you come in a house like that, like this one where the glory of God is in every area, God revealing everything hidden, God destroying the works of the enemy, Satan knows he has no way out. Where Christ is present is visible. You don't fake it. The house where God is, people are not defeated. People do not perish. People win battles. Are you hearing me, somebody? And listen to this. That you may not perish. That you may not. But what? But have everlasting life. It did not come so that you may be a survivor. I'm a survivor. I gotta make it. We are not survivors. We live in abundance. Lift your hand and say, I'm not a survivor. <laughs> survivor woke up in the morning <gasps> because they have been beaten in a dream and they were about to be killed. <gasps> oh Lord, hallelujah. Those are survivors. Survival barely makes it. When they make it, <gasps> thank Jesus, I made it. No, he did not say he sent Jesus Christ so that whoever believes in him should not perish and we stop it there. So you're not dying, but you're not living. The people are not dead, but they're not living. But he said that they may have life, life in abundance. Now, life in abundance, according to God, is not the quantity of life, it's the quality of life. When the Bible talks about an abundant life, the Bible does not refer to a quantity of life. The Bible refers to a quality of life that cannot stop, a quality of life that does not have an end, a quality of life that is so together, so fulfilled, nothing is missing, nothing is broken. And Jesus Christ himself came to insist on this. He said, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life. Life in abundance. The life in abundance is God's life. I want to get you very quickly to realize how powerful you are, how strong you are. You will know how to defeat the enemy that is coming to destroy you. Eternal life does not start when you die. Ouch. Oh, my internal life is in me when I die. Internal life starts. No. The day I receive Jesus Christ, there has been a change in me. I have eternal life from that day on. The quality of my life has completely changed. Are you hearing me? I want to show you this. Jesus said, that they may have life, life in abundance. If you read carefully what Jesus Christ is saying, he said that, that they may have the Zoe, 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 Z O E. They may have the Zoe. Zoe is God's type of life. Now, there is an animal life that can be measured by time and character, there is a human life, and there is a God's life. They cannot take the life of a dog and place it in you. They cannot take his blood and place it in you. 
it does not work. Because his blood, his life is not compatible with yours. But what Jesus Christ did by dying on the cross of Calvary and shedding his blood is to make your body, your being compatible to the life that only God can live. How can I be defeated? Somebody explain to me, how can I be defeated? A thousand may fall on my side, 10,000 on my right side. It shall not come near me. With my eyes only shall I see the reward of the wicked. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. When they come against me by one way, they shall be scattered by seven different ways. Why God be for me? Who can be against me? I have the life of God in me. And let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. Why is it that demons are afraid of me? Because they are. It's because I know this. Simply because I know it. The devil prays after your ignorance. What you do not know kills you and what you know empowers you. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. I am free from fear. I am free from defeat. I am free from a wicked level of defeat every day. I cannot be defeated. I am Alf Lukau, washed by the blood of the Lamb, filled with the Holy Ghost, anointed by God. I cannot be defeated. I don't care how many there are. This applies to you. Lift your hand and say, I cannot be defeated. Please sit down. Listen to this. This is John 3, 16. He says that we may have life. Life in abundance. Oh, wow, this is a very spiritual thing God is saying. Even if I'm broke and broken on the earth, I have life, life in abundance. Impossible. I say impossible. If you have the Zoe life of God, it affects your being, which is made of your spirit, your soul, and your body. Everything you touch turns into gold. Everywhere you go, the light of God shines. You can't be broke. You can't be broken. There is no spirituality in being low. Being low does not imply you are humbled. Are you hearing me? It came so that you may have life. Why die? He said, it came so you may not perish. It came so that you may not be defeated. Some battles you will not even have to fight. As soon as you discover this, you won't fight those battles. Are you hearing me? Let me pray that you may have life. You, come. Let me pray that you may have life. Are you guys together? Yes. You together? Yes. Do you think Jesus can defeat sickness? Yes. Do you believe he can do that? Look at me. Come here. Mm. Jesus Christ came so that you may not perish. Yes. As I pray for her now, the glory of God will fall on everybody here. So you may know that he really came so that you may not die. He is alive. 
Why die? Does somebody say, why die? Have you ever spoken to me before? No. It's my first time to be here. I'm from Botswana. It's your first time to be here yes. from Botswana. But let me tell you what doctors cannot do. They can treat you, they can help you, and doctors are good. But what they cannot do is remove <laughs> HIV from you. Look at me. If you do this, I can pray properly. Okay, hold yourself, okay? Let's fight that devil. Because I'm seeing a spirit of death around you. Yes. <laughs> I'm seeing a spirit of death around you. If I do not rebuke the spirit, after here, you'll become sick. Because you've been sick. Yes, last, last of last week. Last of last week? Yes, I went to the hospital. You went to the hospital? And, yes. You say you're here for the very first time? Yes. God has empowered me and anointed me for difficult matters. Yes. Your situation seems to be difficult. But God called me for difficult matters, small matters. He anointed yes. other people. When it's difficult, you come to me. Yes. Okay. Lift your hands, say, I will not die. Say, I will live. I will declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What's your name? My name is Lorato. Lorato. Yes. Okay. It means what, Lorato? Love. Love. And Lorato means what? Love. So it's the same. Lorato, Lorato. Yes. Yes. You too come. Come, come. No, 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 no. The friend. Oh, you ready? <laughs> Everybody begin to pray. I'm seeing angels taking position. I don't know what they want to do. Everybody begin to pray. There is an angel probably next to you. Sakata la baba holo boshi ala babo koto boshi kelebe se kelebe be se kelebe be 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 se kelebe be 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 se kelebe be 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 zai ala baba 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 zai ala baba baba be 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 yokolo here. Here. You stand up. Yes. What's your name? Come on. Everybody pray. Something is happening. Who among you here was born on the 26th of September? The 26th of September. You, come here. Listen to me, I'm seeing angels deployed everywhere. Be in prayer, be in prayer, be in prayer. Mama yere yere yokoro boshi kara baba baba. Zahala baba. I'm hearing the 13th of January here. The 13th of January. Come here. Zahala baba. Everybody lift your hand, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Kara baba shi yara baba baba shokori yara baba baba shi kara baba baba soto koro boshi kara baba baba shi kara baba baba. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. 
What does the third of July has to do with you? That's my birthday. The third of July. Were you born the third of July? Yes. Was it 1975 or so? Yes. The third of July, 1975. Yes. Hear what God is saying. Yes. He say, I should pray for your health. He say, as I pray for you. HIV will be defeated. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You had a life of pain, yes. struggle, yes. difficulties. Yes. Everything you did had a huge battle on it. Yes. The devil kept on stealing from me. Is that correct? Yes. That is the reason why I see there is no marriage. Yes. No marriage. Yes, no, no marriage, man of God. We are two in my family, but there's no marriage. You are two in your family, there yes, is no marriage. Yes. Today, any one of you who's unmarried and is willing to get married, I promise you, you're getting your blessing today. You are two and there is no marriage. Yes. The enemy has been oppressing you. Yes. You're coming from a family that is divided. Yes, a strong indeed. generation curse is on all of yes. you. That is the reason why things are so tight. Yes. But today God will set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe God can heal? Yes, I believe. Stretch your hands, family. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Your friend, Jesus. please come. Before I pray, keep your hands up. Come here, come here. Lord, I break this spirit. I command every power of the enemy to go. Go! In the name of Jesus. Bring up. Every yoke of the enemy, I destroy it today. Go! In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bring up. Pray. As you pray for them, God is remembering you. Look at me. You came from Botswana together. You, you came together. All the way from Botswana. Is it the first time you are here? It's my first time, Father. Whatever I am breaking will cause restoration, complete restoration. And everything I am prophesizing will be fulfilled in your life before the 17th of oh, October. That's my birthday, Father. Oh, that's my birthday. The 17th of October is your birthday. That's my birthday. Ah. Her problem seems to be your problem. Generation curse in your family, a strong generation curse. Because of that, things are blocked. Just like her, nothing seems to work. Your ways are closed. That's true, Father. No marriage. No marriage. No marriage. No marriage, Father. No marriage. To date, no marriage. Thank you, Father. Stretch your hands to them. Thank you, Father. Begin to pray for them. Thank you, Father. God of Abosete, God of Abasete, Rakata Soto Koroboshia, Rekete Sete Kereve Bebeshia. In the name of Jesus, bring it up. Pray for her again. I say you leave in the name of Jesus. Place your hand. It is over. 
He remembered you. He's a healing God. I thank you, Father. He's Father, a deliverer. Thank you. But I thank you. Ah. You are witnessing the glory of God in our life. Ah. And may God remember Father, you too. Thank you. I thank you, Father. I break the yoke of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of Satan, go. Jesus Christ. Come. This is what I'm seeing in the spiritual reign. I'm seeing a door open and I'm praying for your marriage. I'm seeing a door open and I'm seeing something. It's like a celebration. It's a youth celebration. But right there, I'm seeing a, a, a man with a broom. He's beating a woman who seems to be a bit old, saying that, that none of yours will be good none of yours and I'm seeing you it's like a, the celebration is around you the enemy is trying to stop what he cannot stop because I am Aflukau the same spirit that attacked your parent is the same spirit that is attacking you is your father alive? No. Is your mother alive? Yes. In 1995. <laughs> My parents divorced. <laughs> your parents divorced in 1995. That room devil that won in 1995 is now coming to you. How many are you in the family? Two. You are two? Yes, Pastor. Are you both girls? Yes, Pastor. I'm hearing Lynette. Is it Lynette? No, Lynette is my friend. Lynette is your friend? Yes, Pastor. I am seeing a celebration of you. Where's your friend? She's in Northgate. Are you very close? Is she a child of God? Very close, Pastor. Listen. She used to come to church. She used to come to church. <laughs> I am seeing the celebration. That day of the celebration, the other person I'm seeing on the other side celebrating with you is your sister. I think it's your Lynette. Lynette. She's my best friend, Pastor. She's your best friend. Yes. So Lynette, I'm hearing, is your best friend. Yes, Pastor. Here, 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 here. Where are you from? From Zimbabwe. I'm seeing BYO. Bulawayo, Pastor. Bulawayo. Yes. You're from Bulawayo. Yes, Pastor. Zohela Basiara Bakoshia. When do you want to get married? Give me a date. Shall we make it before the 13th of January, your birthday, or should yes, we make pastor. it? Should we make it before the 13th? Yes, Pastor. Tell your friend that, that she must come to the house of God. I'll tell her, Pastor. Tell her that uh, your blessing as covenant sisters is linked. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. Tell her that God gave me the name of your friend. And she's your sister, your partner. You go together. We were together from high school. We've been friends for over 15 years now. You've been friends for over 15 years. You also come. You're not married. But let me tell you, before the 26th of September... Something good, something wonderful, something big, something good is happening in the house. Come here, come here. Do you want 
wanted. Ah. Oh. Polina. It's my mom. Polina is your mom. Yes. Polina is your mom. Zahir Abashi. Your father dead alive? Alive. Are they together? But separated. In the same house. Oh, they are in the same house, but they're just separated. Yes. Okay, one sleeps on the other side, the other sleeps on the other side. Yes, Pastor. Just see, Pastor is praying for you, okay? okay. God, say as I pray for you, you should tell Paulina, the blessing that is coming to you will be a celebration. It will be a celebration. Whatever she's hoping, she's trusting God for, a time has arrived. Amen. Lift your hand. My daughter, come. Let me pray for the two of you together. A blessing. L look at me. You, you must design him. You must have a picture of him. All right? Yes, Pastor. There he goes. 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 Chief. Bring it again. Ay arababu boshia. Zoholo boshia. Full of grace, full of power. Touch! Come, come on, come, come, come. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. These hands, I called her, but to see you. You husband and wife? Yes. Or brothers and sister? Husband and wife. Not brothers and sister? No. That's why when she came, you also followed. God yes, spoke Pastor. about the 10th of December. Yes. You were born on the 10th of December? Yes. He loves you. What's your name? Esther. Esther. Lift your hand, Esther. Oh, Esther. Ria Raya Kashete. Bosata. Stretch your hands toward Esther. I'm seeing confusion, restlessness. It's like someone who's two. Are you bipolar? Yes. You are bipolar? Yes. You are? Yes. Ah. It's an oppression of the enemy. Is an oppression of the enemy because the devil knows you. He knows what God called you for. And that is a spirit that is oppressing you. But as I pray for you today, God is breaking it. Where are you from? I'm from Zambia. Are you from Zambia? Yes. You came from Zambia? Yes. You came from church? Yes. Is this your first time? Yes. Is your first time in church? Yes. Lift your hand. As I break this spirit, you are also seeing something happening. It will come through him. There is a light that is coming, but I'll deal with you. Did I call you? You came yourself, right? Uh -huh. The blessings of God will flow. But this is a spirit that has to go now. <laughs> I say it has to go now. Go! You false spirit, the blood of Jesus is against you. I command you to pack and go now. Go. Pray for her. Maholoboshi. Break it. You from Zambia? Yes, I'm from Zambia. You don't stay here. You came from Zambia with your wife. Yes. If I pray for you, this is what God will do. He will open your hands because your hands are tied. Yes, Pastor. Things are very difficult right now. Yes, Pastor. It is like somebody had drawn a line, a line of limitation. Every time you come close to it, you go back. 
Yes. You can break through. Your life is blocked in one level. True person. God is saying, as I pray for you, He's breaking it because Jesus Christ came so that you may have life, life in abundance. Thank you, Pastor. Hear this. The 15th of November. That's what? my birthday. That's your birthday. The True, Pastor. The 15th of November. True. Before the 15th of November, your birthday, whatever word I declare over you will come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Before the 15th of November, three doors will open to you. Amen. It will usher you to three different levels Amen. until your hands touch what only God can give you. I'm seeing you handling millions. Yes, I'm an accountant. Sorry? I'm an accountant. You're an accountant? Yes, Pastor. Where are you working? I work for Zesco Limited. So you touch a lot of money. You see the numbers, right? Yeah, true, Pastor. But it doesn't come to you? No. That punishment, I'm telling you. <laughs> that the highest level of punishment. I'd rather be a carpenter. I'm not seeing it. But I'm seeing it. I'm not touching it. I pray for every accountant. May you never fall in temptation. But I want to pray spiritually that something may happen. Whatever is blocking you, God will remove it. And there are three doors that will open. Every door will be to take you to another level financially. Amen. This time, you will not count for them. This time, you will account for yourself. I can't hear you, amen. Your shout of praise. Somebody make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. This time, the Lord is giving for you. Can I get your amen? Amen. Ah, no, 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 not this amen. This is a winter amen. Can I get a better amen? Amen. In the midst of trials and tribulation, your faith is strong. Keep it up. Lift your hand. Everybody stretch your hands toward them. It's starting now, starting now. As you go back, you'll hear good news. I bless you now. I want everybody to stand. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Shakara Babo Sete. It's your birthday. Come, let me pray for you. Zataba. Everybody pray. Speak to God. Let's break the yoke of the enemy. Can I have all of you here? All of you, come here. Quickly. Lift your hand. Maze kata rekata. You come here, sir. Lift your hand. I release the grace of God. I release the blessings of God. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Bring up. The Lord has remembered you. The grace of God. The power of God. Take it. The glory of God, receive it, receive it, receive it. All yours, all yours, all yours, all yours. Take it. Come here. Whatever was closed, open up. In the name of Jesus. Bring it up. The devil is alive. I break it. Break it. Break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. Sokoto, Shaka.
were planted. I release the glory. Everybody pray. Pray, pray. Everybody pray. Speak to God. I am an the two of you come. Come here. Lift your hands. May the grace, may the glory. A different dose. A different dose. Pray with me. Speak to God. Pray with me. Speak to God. I am a beloved of the Lord. I am a beloved. He loves me. Say so today, I command every evil power. Say it again. One more time. Say, I command every evil power. Say it again. Say, go. I am not cursed. Say it again. I am blessed. I am not cursed. In the name of Jesus. Take both your hands. Put them on your head. I decree and declare a new level. A new dawn. I bring the former to an end. I allow the new to become. It's beginning now. As a here they show you, as your spiritual father, I bring the former to an end. Whatever started stops today. I push you to your next level. 
I push you across the door. I'm seeing you standing at the door. You are contemplating what is inside, but you are not moving inside. I come in the authority of the Lord Jesus and I push you inside. I am pushing you inside. Your hands on your head. May the blessings of God come on you. May the grace of God come on you. Take it. Say, I am blessed. I bless my life. I bless my life. Begin to bless your life. Begin to speak blessings and life. Speak blessings over you. Rokoto Shoto Kodobo Boshi.